Hey everybody, welcome tonight. I just wanted, just want to say thank you for uh, Queen City Music Promotions for letting us come on tonight. Wanted to uh, thank Denise and Chuck and everyone else that's uh, you know running out here tonight with all the great, wonderful ministry opportunities. Um, I just wanted to take a moment and just say thank you for all the wonderful things that has happened on the Queen City Music page because I believe that that God has a message tonight. He has a message that he wants to transform our society. He wants to transform us from the inside out. And I believe wholeheartedly that this season that we're in, this place that we're in right now, God can move mountains. Right. So Jeremy's going to play the drums for me. Are you sure that's a good decision? Yeah. It isn't always, but we'll try it. Do these people bring us waffles? No, I'm sure not. Oh. They didn't get waffles this time? Okay. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna sing you three songs, and then Jeremy's going to sing you three songs, and hope you enjoy them. I don't know how it is you looked at me and saw the person that I could be. So we start out kind of dark and kind of slow. So we're well, gonna, sad let's, gonna uh, get waffles. Yes. Let's pep it up a bit. I don't know. Yep. Hope you enjoy this one. Jesus said I'm going back to where I came from. Soon, soon you will be with me. And soon that day will come. No, no, Lord, I'm ready Your blessed face to see 
to be gone, 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 going to that place prepared for me. Have you made your reservation? This will be my last song and then I'll turn it over to Jeremy. <clears throat>
Thank you, Jerry. You did a real good job. All right, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed tonight's broadcast so far. Um, for those that have never seen us, we are JMC Ministries. I am Jeremy. This is Miranda Caverly for JMC Ministries. Um, again, you know, we haven't been here for a while because I've been uh, working as a, a manager full time on uh, a higher uh, level uh, job at a bank. I was working all hours of the night, so I've had no time for much ministry anymore. So I do apologize for not being here like I wanted to. But tonight, we hope that uh, tonight's broadcast will bless you, that you'll be able to, you know, worship along with us if you know the songs. If you don't, just, you know, just bask in the presence of Jesus. Right, Miranda? Yep. Okay. Try to concentrate because I don't, you know, that's the first time I played this song together. Oh, yeah. in my mouth for the bridge and then I took it back out. You did what? <laughs> no, you tell me you did not do yeah, that. Yeah, I did. That's no, what I was doing. No, 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 no. Tell me you didn't have to do that. Oh my oh, goodness. I got your hands. Oh my goodness gracious. Anyway, oh, wow. I'm telling you. Oh, 
you know, oh, yeah. then, you know, I'm I'm so blessed to see You're what God is doing. Sticking under my arm or sticking in my mouth. And then... Well, you don't want to do that either now, do you? I hope not. That's the only way I was gonna play for it online. Well, true. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, we just want to praise your name tonight. We want to seek your face. We want to become more like you. We want to work together to fulfill the Great Commission. We want to sing your praises tonight. We want to be more like you and less of us. By the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Now, you know, Miranda, well, we may not have been able to get our waffles. We know what we did get. All right. We got a touch of God tonight. Yeah. Just like every night. Why don't you tell the people what God means to you in three minutes or less? Uh, literally, it's the psalm. Uh, it's, in, it's in Psalms, and literally, what God means to me, it says, Though my heart and flesh may fail us, God is the, the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Mm -hmm. That's literally how, that, if you know my testimony, that. That is what God means to me. He is the only reason I'm breathing, the only reason my heart's beating. And what did he set you free from? 
Uh, he set me free from suicidal thoughts and um, just hopelessness from uh, when I was 15 years old. And and uh, he uh, he gave me hope and he gave me the strength to carry on and to live this life, no matter what the devil or anybody throws at me. Mm-hmm. So yes, yeah, so I've been playing with. I had I've been putting the stick in my mouth and then. <laughs> so, so I know it's gonna look funny, but hey, nice. I got the job done. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, you did. So, so for me, like, like I said, you know, I didn't have, I didn't have a Christian home, and I had a few Christian people that were in my life that helped me. But God put me on a sustaining path and kept bringing people in my life to help me and guide me and direct me to where where I was. You know, God got me out of a situation where I could have died or done something stupid. And, even though that ended up having me go to a shelter and a second shelter the year after, God sent me on a path. I was already a Christian, already wanted to do ministry, and God used me in a miraculous way while I was homeless. And he's still done that. He did it when I was in the Coast Guard. He did it ever since I've been here in Ohio in 2007. God is an ever-loving God, and he wants us today to stay in the spirit of revival. He wants us to move. He wants us to move in such a way that God gets the glory, that God gets the honor and the praise for us to be more like him, for us to worship in spirit and truth. We need we need to come together because we are the body of Christ. We are his hands and feet. And I believe tonight that God is going to do something miraculous in each and every one of our lives if we are listening to the Holy Spirit. So cast aside anything that might be in your life that might be holding you back. It might be causing you to fall, causing you to fail and fade away so you can focus in on the blessings of Jesus because God is there. God wants to help you. He wants to guide you. He wants to direct you, to put you on that path and that plan where he cares for you. And for those of you that are already saved, anything that's trying to you know, get on you, I want you to shake this off. I want you to get away from it. I want you to cast it aside because this is not an emotional journey. This is not a spiritual journey. This is your relationship with your heavenly father, your Abba father, your Lord and savior, Jesus Christ. And he will help you and guide and direct you. We are
the Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you for this time to celebrate and honor you in one spirit, in one unity, and let the Holy Spirit speak to the people today, God. Let go, your move go out and spread out amongst the nations, all across America, all across the globe, as we are worshiping you, the one and true God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let any mountains and things that have come across us in our lives, let us cast that off as far as to the east, to the west. Let us move in spirit and in truth. Let us go forth and be the hands and feet you called us to do, to be more like you. Lord, we want to repent of the things that have come in our lives that have held us back, that have caused us to not want to worship you, to not want to follow you, to not want to share about you. We want to go forth and do what you called us to do, Lord Jesus, because we love you. We know that there are people out there that need to hear the message of the gospel. We know there are people out there that need healed. We know there are people out there that need strength. Then we know there are people out there that need help and guidance and direction. And only you can give a touch of the power, of the everlasting power. The blood of Jesus Christ can cover all this. Lord, we pray for those that are going to have an opportunity this week to come to know Jesus. We're going to pray for those and thank you, God, for those that are going to get saved, those that are going to get healed, those that are going to repent. Many people are going to find work this week. Many people are going to have their relationships restored. Many people are going to have their health restored. Many people are going to be able to have directions and plans in their life because, God, you care about us. You want to lead us to that place that you want us to be. Lord, right now we pray for all these individuals that may be doubting, that may not understand, that will face these situations and they will still turn away. Lord, we pray for those that don't want Jesus. Lord, we pray for our enemies. We pray for those that have hurt us, for those that have done us wrong, for those that will never want anything to do with this, no matter what happens. God, will you strengthen them? Will you guide them? Will you direct them? Help their families, help their job, help their health, help guide them, bring them a friend. Bring them people into their lives to bring them peace. By the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.